this is like full opinion. I don't know anything, but I feel like the entertainment business and Hollywood is sort of a town full of people very compelled to be in that entertainment business. I used to have this joke that like, if you have a headshot, your parents fucked up because all my friends <laughs> at home who didn't have headshots or didn't want to be like stars or like in the, you know, uh, celebrities or like beloved by strangers. They had like, they had had, you know, fundamentally strong family support system. They weren't looking for strangers to love them or validate them. And then for myself and all my friends and like comedy and acting and just, you know, anything that's sort of like both creative, but a little bit motivated by ego, this sort of need for external validation. There's something a little sick there. And so you come here, you're attracted to that industry that's uh, feeding that sickness, promote that, you know, people want to be famous, so you know, celebrities, musicians, whatever, creative. Uh, and also creativity is like an outlet for some kind of pain that you may have had. But then if you evolve and you grow up, you're like, okay, maybe I don't need, you know, validation from strangers. Maybe my creativity is motivated by something else. Maybe it really has turned into a craft. Maybe I'm just really good at it or I just love doing it. So I won't speak for everybody, but it is a funny generalization that I have made. I love that. I mean, I certainly found that I, when I got uh, emotionally healthier, my drive to be famous just ended. Like I just was like, I'm not interested anymore. I 100% agree. I I have noticed that the people who weren't driven to to fame or to the entertainment industry have um, admirably boring lives <laughs> with family and strong ties and strong connections. And there have been moments in the last few years where I've kind of envied that, <laughs> where I've mm -hmm. kind of longed for anonymity and wished that I could kind of just like, have a normal life. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if I can do that now. I feel like I'm like too far down the rabbit hole to like now try to have like just a regular job. <laughs> like, but there have absolutely been moments where I've just been like, I kind of just want quiet, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I had originally wanted to be an actor comedian who loved writing. Like I love the writing was always for me. I like loved it. But I was really chasing the, the performer career. But it gave me so much anxiety. You know, while I was coming up in comedy, I, my like, adrenals were just shot to hell. Whereas once I really chose writing, my comfort in writing, I just felt so much more confident. I, I was like, oh, I'm, I don't want to have to brush my hair in order to do my job. <laughs> I don't want to have to like worry about what I look like on camera in order to do my job. There was so much about performance or like what my voice sounds like if I can shout and make it like funny, all this stuff that I was like, I, I don't want that attention, but I want to express and I want to be funny and I want to express, but I don't know that I want that kind of attention. I'm absolutely in the same, in the same boat right now. I think that's why we kind of connect because we've just kind of been like, <laughs> awakened through the healing process of of what we're actually doing what we're actually seeking you know what the creativity is trying to get to and one of the things that i think has been so interesting about the creative process is that you know i i um i relate i am such a performing gives me so much anxiety that i had to take a, a long break from it <laughs> so that i could kind of rebuild my my um my system. <laughs> I felt like really drained by all of it. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of feel like the creative process kind of has made me get out of my shell. It has forced me to kind of inquire about why I have such uh, fear of being seen, fear of failure, fear of all these other things. Um, it's, it has just been a wonderful teacher. 